This is a very special day because it's my one year anniversary of my YouTube channel. So for me, it was a bit of a journey becoming an entrepreneur. I actually started this very same business 10 years ago and failed. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about that in this video, but I'm also gonna talk about the day that I started my business and started using this Mont Blanc pen. So I'm Jane Stoller, I'm a life biz organizer. I'm so glad that you landed on this channel. For the best organizing advice and hopefully inspirational tips, please hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video every Tuesday. And of course, subscribe. So before I talk too much about the significance of this pen, I'm gonna talk about three tips that have really helped me and I think can help anybody if you're thinking about starting a business. My number one tip is do a brainstorm. Have a judgment-free brainstorm for three days. Write down any and all ideas you have about your business, about what you're passionate about. Just for three days, spend, write down everything you can possibly think about. And nobody has to see it, so it's only for you. But really, this can help um, get your creative juices flowing around your business. So my second tip is make a simple plan. We, when we hear business plan, we think they have to be complicated and an accountant has to look over them, but really a simple plan on the back of a napkin can be the start of a business plan. Put down a few points, wherever it may be, and then stick to those. And then you'll adapt your plan as your business grows. And my third tip is to adapt. Some things will work and some things won't work. Even if it's in the plan, you're probably gonna have to change a few things. So then go back, find out where your customers are wanting to, from you, find out what's working on social media, find out where you're getting a lot of comments, find out where, um, you know, maybe do surveys. But what's working in your business, that should be where you focus a lot of your energies on. So those are my three quick tips. Now I wanna talk a little bit about the significance of this pen because it was really the first day that I committed to starting this business again after failing 10 years ago that I started using this expensive pen. It was a gift from an ex-boyfriend of mine, but he had good taste at least but it was a graduation gift for my MBA. And what it is, it's a limited edition Greta Garbo, and she was a female kind of entrepreneur and really, um, back in the day, wanted people to really get um, outside of their comfort zone and push kind of female uh, entrepreneurship. So I find it kind of a uh, synchronicity, let's say, that I started using this pen the exact same time I started my business the second time, and it was a success. So again, don't be afraid to use those expensive pens. And I hope these tips helped you. We'll see you next Tuesday.